Hi, it's Esther at The Truck and Scribe. I am going to start, I think, a playlist for Craft With Me, where I start with plans to make something, but then it goes wrong and I have to fix it. And um, I watched Natasha make an expandable file folder. This is one of them, the one I finally made. But at the beginning of the video, you'll see where I made, was working on this, which was a full size envelope, like nine inches, it's four and a half now. But um, it does get better, so You'll see me walk through this one and, and troubleshooting and trying to figure out how in the world to fix my mistake. Um, so, if you want to come along with me and just craft along and see what, what I come up with, um, come on along. Hi, this is Esther from The Truck and Scribe. Um, thanks for coming by today. On this rainy Monday afternoon here in Georgia. It's yucky out there. But I am working on, I made some, well I didn't make them, I printed them. All these labels, I need somewhere to go. I got more over here. I think these are Tracy Fox and these are chapter one. And I just need somewhere to put them. And I saw Natasha Treasure Books making um, cute little accordion files the other day that I thought I would try that and see if that'll work. But I am in no way as good at this as she is. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a regular envelope and this one's one of the peeling sticks and I decided to trim up, trim all of them at four which leaves me these two pieces. I'm saving these because I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet, but this is glue, so we'll see. I don't wanna throw it away yet. So I've already done quite a few of these off camera, so I didn't have to listen to all this noise. I'm doing one at a time because my big paper cutter right this minute is stuck in the corner and I can't get to it. I could do more with better measurements with it than I can with this one. So this is about what little paper scrap that I'm throwing away and I'm sure that somebody could figure out something to do with it. So here's my envelopes. I just Grab a handful in there. Some of them look like they're uneven, so I'll have to even those up and chop them off. Like I guess I'm gonna save these. So I probably would be better off, no, not with um with the vellum pockets, and I have some around here that I made. And they just never got sewed into a book. So, somewhere they're here. Um, so, Natasha said, cut these off, all of them, all the tops off like this. So, we need the, just this part and this here. You could cut and make it even, or you could leave it that it wouldn't make a whole lot of a difference. So, the way she did it was she took tape like this and she actually I'm gonna see if I can't do this <laughs> see if I can line it up she lined it up like right right in, in the middle but not quite up to the edge a little pokey tool She did eight. I think I'm going to do seven today for each one. And she said, make sure that you get 
your envelopes really straight before you put them down because the sticky tape can be a problem. And see here, I think I got one that's gonna to be too big for that piece of paper, but I don't know, we'll see. I may have to, you know what, I move this so it's not helping much. So right in here, and she recommended to cut your tape about the same length and put it in about the same spot. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm not real good at that. And we're just doing this one point, this one edge here for now. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you one that I finished, that finished one. I'm learning how to do this video things as I go, so be patient. I'm trying. Um, so I've learned how to edit some of it on um, on the I watch um, app on my iPad and my phone. So I have a video on my phone right now. I have a camera, but I haven't gotten brave enough to try and set it up. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. Seem like an awful lot more. Probably what I'm going to do when I get these all together is trim them. And I may go ahead and trim them now. And then put my other three together and trim them. Because, yeah, because I'm not going to be able to get any in here if I'm not really careful. And it just barely took a sliver off. That was it. You can't even see it. Um, get me throwing that over there. And I'm just estimating you can measure your tape. And I'm trying to estimate as to where I'm putting it in the middle here. But I'll tell you, that white on white is hard for me to see. So that's five, six. And when I saw her make them, I was like, man, I used to work at Smead Manufacturing, and they did um, accordion file folders similar. But um, they had the gussets, and that's what she's doing, is using these right here, the corners as a gusset to open up. Kind of like on this, you have, if you had it, you have a little kind of a tab right there, but if you had it bent two or three times, back and forth, it would um, be like a gusset. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like I'm getting a lot more. I need two more. I can't decide the paper. I've got some over here that, um, that's been cracking, but since it's gonna be for me, could probably just put some washi tape over the edges if they do crack. And here's our last one. Well, it helps if you could put the envelope on first, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and put this down, but I'm going to wait to take the paper off. So let's see if it'll do like hers did. Oh yeah, it looks nice. And these are very long, um, nine and a half inch envelopes by four. So if you wanted to glue these, you could trim them off and make them shorter, but I'm gonna leave them big like this because if I get some smaller envelopes, I could make some smaller ones for my labels and then this could be for bookmarks and stuff Oops. so i still need one more i cannot count today which that's usually on monday i can't count most of the times i just leave stuff in because it seems like if i try to take it out then it leaves a big gap and then you guys don't know what in the world i'm talking about when i come back 
so this is some stamp out paper that I have. Basically, the way Natasha talked was to, um, I bet I'm not going to be able to trim it off and it's bugging me right there. I don't know if you can see it. It really shouldn't be a problem, but I'm telling you, my OCD sometimes gets to acting up and that's it. So I've got this side and I have this side. I think this one's going to be the inside of it. So what she did, and I'm going to turn you sideways so I can get to it. Um, I had a pencil the other day. I guess I'll use my pen if I need to. Maybe this pen will work better. So what she did was she said to get like an eighth of an inch right there and an eighth on this side. And you kind of measure your paper. So you got a little bit left over there. And same thing at the top, which I'm gonna turn you sideways now. So this one's got a little bit of an overhang. And I'm gonna go right to here. And she did this in a couple of different ways. She folded it over like this to where it just had um, a round spine. And she also made this um, to where it was defined and sharp. I don't know if I'm gonna need that much. Let's see. There's my mother. Mine are short. I got four inch envelopes. I don't think this coming all the way down to the bottom. I think I'm going to cut off about oh, at least an inch and a half, I think. So let me go with ten and a half and see how that looks. It's not too bad. That'll give us some room. So I got a couple of pieces left. my punches are gone a wall so I do want this edge which I'm upside down I'm gonna turn both sides Let me see. see I'm making all these mistakes and y'all are getting to see it all firsthand so maybe you don't make it Let's see. Yep. That would work right there. Even if it is rounded. So I've cut my paper. I think these are number nine or number ten envelopes. And I've cut my paper down to nine and a half by ten and a half. I'm going to put this at the front. So this is going to be my front since that's going up. And it looked like the way Natasha done this. Let's see if I can get it right. She took two pieces of double-sided tape and stuck on here like that. One there. And then one down at the bottom, which actually she said you didn't have to put one at the bottom if I'm not mistaken. But since I'm putting it there, I'll go ahead and keep going. And then with this, she did say be very careful because see how sticky that paper is. So to make sure you know where you're sticking your covers at. I just 
And I'm putting it facing towards me, so maybe I can get this a little bit better. Does that look even? Let us see if it's not, then I just have to deal with that. So now, you can see I do have a little bit more right there, but I could trim it off with scissors. I think I'm going to leave it alone. So, it's looking good. And we'll do this side the same way. And with these um, long envelopes, I might should have put a little bit more tape. I don't, I don't know. So then you carefully make sure of where you're going. I guess I should have done that before I got started. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do this real tight. I'm just gonna basically to give it just a little more room down there in the bottom. Kind of get it even and squash it down. What do you think? That does look good. Not for long though. I could have took and sewed these down the middle, which might be an idea to give you a half pocket. I don't think my sewing machine will sew through this. We could try it. So from here down to here. Let me grab it. Let's see. I was working on this the other day. And if you guys want me to show you um, more about my sewing machine, I'd be happy to show you how to thread it, and which I'm having to do right now. How to change the needles, how to clean it. Um, wind the bobbin. And I've just got a very basic brother. I think it's the SQ9000. It does have quite a few different settings for um, the edging and stuff, but I usually don't, sometimes, since I've gotten into the paper craft, I have been using it more, but make sure that you have at least, I would say, a four stitch length on your paper. I wonder if I should just, yeah. So I'm just going to see if I can get this to go. I got so many layers and I have a walking foot on this sewing machine because I couldn't find the shank that goes on it. I do not like all these pieces of paper or pieces of thread hanging out so I do cut them. But, so let's see. Well, that didn't work out quite like I wanted, did it? But you know what? We can still do this. Let's see. I think anyway. Well, if nothing else, we'll know what not to do with the sewing machine, huh? You know, I could sew those instead of just. So, I'm gonna move the sewing machine back just a minute. And my lights are awful, aren't they? Ha, there we go. So I'm gonna cut these with these awful scissors that I got. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Yeah, I still got all these little pockets, but it's not working the way it was designed to work. I will do something with those though. Maybe take, cut that off. Wonder if I could sew these. Probably not. But you 
No, our kitchen is I could mark them in half and sew that one in. And what I'm going to do is go right here. Nine and a half would be four and a quarter. So somewhere, I guess I could also do this. Uh, I don't want to make, <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a Monday. I went to St. Louis over the weekend. And since you can't see the bottom, I am just going to make a little tick mark there. Um, so I'm going to sew these actually on two sides and then take them out of the sewing machine. Let's see if I can get, get you down here. So, like I said, I got a walking foot. What I'm doing is just basically chain stitching like I would do in quilting. And I've got my little foot like a quarter of an inch away from that middle line. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold these since I'm going to cut on that anyway. And I'm just feeding them all in. Three, four. And then what I'm going to do is turn it around and chain stitch. Which is basically you don't cut your papers. So I've got four envelopes sewed together. What I'm going to do, if you can see, is I'm putting, it's hard to see this white. Actually, here's my middle line, so what I'm going to do is try and start my, well, I could start like a quarter of an inch from here. So I think that's what I'm going to do since I'm going to make them shorter, but I'll have to add a few more. better if I can find it is just some washi tape down there which will be decorative too this might actually decide what color paper I'm going to use so to decorate these up I'm just going to put washi tape on the side instead of using that glue for right now over here so yeah that would fit just right actually what I could do is I could probably put these on like assembly line and do another one right there off right here so we'll come back to that in a minute and I guess since I've got it on one side I'm going to go ahead and put it on both sides so you can see it um, the other one go I just made oh so yeah I forgot, we gotta redo this somehow. I might just cut that off and put new tape in there. Which probably is a good idea. Yep. But right here, you'll see both sides. That's what I need to do is probably just washi tape these down. Put a little bit more tape in the middle. So 
Oh, we might fix that one. Because we all got washi tape. And you can glue it down if you want. But you know what this is going to do is I'll take and trim it right there so it'll open up a little bit more. Do you think this one needs to harp? What it is is these scissors I got are not that good, and the washi tape actually is. Where's that the stitching? I got two. Here's another one. I'll put a little piece on that one. I'll cover up the stitching. And these might actually use, well, no, I don't think I use one of the six inch pads. Let's see, what else would what we'll be able to do? today but we're gonna get this I have one that I did last week that I haven't finished editing and uploaded yet so I'll have to get to work on that and I'm sure there's probably easier ways to do this than what I'm doing and this washi tape just don't want to cut, so I guess I'll have to, it doesn't want to tear for some reason when it's folded. Got some blue paper over there. So, we've got these together, I think. Probably stick them all in one thing. Maybe not, I don't know about that one. Just needs a little more washi tape. So I was thinking about, should I put any across this part? Let's see. Right about there. Put another one right here. So now I gotta figure out what kind of paper I'm gonna use because I didn't use my other paper that I had got out. Um, I have some more over there. I bet for these little ones, I'm making this too short, huh? be a little off. I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. That one bigger on the back. I'm going to put it in the back. Let me grab a another little piece of it. It looks like it. Let's do the bigger one. Yeah, that one's actually almost just about right. Do like this. And then cut it up. And then I'm gonna say I'm gonna cut it right there. So that looks make sure I can move it up just a little bit. Could be trimmed on the side, but I think I'm gonna leave it. And I might 
some food and put these in there and just see if it will make that big of a difference because they will fit in the Might as well not waste it, huh? As so you can see, yeah, I'm just all over the place on size in here, but let's see how it will. I think it will fit in there pretty good and be usable. Yeah, I think so. I think you can use it. And you know, I did say I don't think she said we needed to tape that down, did we? So surprisingly, this did not need any glue, but you could use glue if you wanted to. And when Natasha made hers, she actually used washi tape, which helped me think about using it in here. She used it to um, cover it to fix the junk mail, to decorate up junk mail envelopes instead of using brand new ones like I did, which she did all that way. Brand new envelopes, junk mail envelopes, and then she showed how to do it with paper if you wanted to do it that way. So, let's see where we're at. I could, I don't know, I'll trim that one off just a little bit right there. Turned out pretty good, didn't it? So now I need to put some brads on it. This little circle. Let me make another one to go with that. This work is it big enough. I think so. What we're gonna do is take and punch out the middle hole. Some garments in today. I don't need a grommet for this, do I? No. And you know, my hole was off center, so I could just leave it like that. circle on top. Would that work? What do I got to go on top over here? Um, we'll just see how this works. Now that Brad's on me big enough. I do have, let me just do another green, I'm sorry y'all, it's been a long, a long day, I'll try and edit this a little bit <laughs> so I'm putting glue on it, I'm going to repunch my hole, I'm going to do it on one eighth side. Still kind of off, but see, it's even further off. What I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this a little glue right here so it didn't spin around because I'm going to go and put one on this one since it's small. Actually, under. So 
what I can do is just take some of this washi tape and put over that little bread just to cover it up or I could take and make another circle and punch it. Looks pretty good. Um, one thing I didn't do and I do want to do real quick to see if it Try and go around and pink it. This is much easier if you do it before you get this far. And I like a little better inked. But I was thinking I wouldn't because I wouldn't be able to ink the washi tape too well. But you know what? We'll just do this part. I think what I'm going to do, I've got some twine that I can put on here and just tie, do a big thing all the way around. And if I decide to change that up later, I can just I can add another one down here with my lopsided circle. Okay. Another thing, I have a box of buttons over there. This is going to be awful bright. You know what? I can tone it down a little bit. Let's see if that helps. I'm going to put a new thing on the end. just get knocked around everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is take this and tie a knot. I'm not sure I've done it before. I glued it down. There we go. So left over right and right over left I think is what they said. Get my needle threader. So, don't look too bad. Let's see how my um, my needles fit in here. 
think they will actually fit pretty good. I'll need to put labels on, on to say which labels are in it. But it does hold these right there pretty good. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to try and do the... Um, the ones with the vellum. I gotta find them. Are y'all like me and you get so much in your uh, in your craft room that you lose it? Well, that's that's me. See these big ones fit in here really well. A couple of pockets there. So I mean I could just fill it up with these particular want this size. And um I know I'm not organizing it all. I'm just stuffing. I do like this. Yeah. And what I could do is just use one of those to decorate the front. Got that one. I got some red ones. I like the red so far. You see, these are other labels of Tracy's. I kind of wouldn't mind the blue over that one on there. Maybe put one of these kind of labels under there. What do you think? I'm going with that. Yeah, I'm going to fix these. I'm just going to trim that off with my good scissors and put some tape in the, the centers if I need to and have them all fixed up. So let's ink this. Make it look kind of old. Vellum here. I was looking for some lace. I'm just addicted to the lace lately. So let's see. Put that right there. I don't want to do that or something else. Let's see. I don't think I want a big one like this. Or do we? There's natural history in it. What about a year? here all day trying to figure out where to put these you right there what if I stick you right in there I did print these on kind of thin paper for some reason Mm -hmm. 
got that. Is it the red that's bothering me? I don't know. some lace that I could put across there or I could put it in, right here. Oh, I like that. Okay. Should I put it up here? I like it at the bottom. Nope. I think I'm going to put this right here. To be using my fabric tack but it's over there and I'm over here so I'll try this I don't know how well it will work doesn't look like it's gonna do real well at all are coming out all over me. So this is good for labels. Oh my boy, it turned out. I'll let that dry. I'm still not sure about this, but we will we'll figure that one out. So thank you for stopping by. I will try my best to edit out a lot of that that um, in the beginning. But I will show you my mistakes, so maybe y'all won't make it. But this is definitely a nice little accordion file folder. Thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.